Hello and welcome back. Pursuit here. And I had a question about my filtering system here. Um, currently this system does not use any uh, comparators to keep track of the where the items go. And I made one before that just had this little section right here. And someone asked, well, how would I get it? How would I work it if I had some chests? Um, I still can't use comparators, but I've got plenty of iron and plenty of wood. Um, and my suggestion would be, and this may cause a little bit of lag, but it hasn't really caused me that much, would be to create a buffer. Um, and by that, I mean, as you can see from these hoppers right here, um, the hoppers that I had in this first system, um, I just pointed them all down so the items inside would not go anywhere. Um, if you would like to store more items than just the five available slots worth, uh, five stacks worth, um, what you can do is to create uh, a bunch of hoppers that point into each other. So this front one, rather than pointing down, points backwards. Um, so that one points this one, then this one, and this one, and they just they go in a circle all the way around. So the items will just continue to go around in a circle like that. Um, so this will give you six times as much storage, but the items will continue to move um, around inside. Um, so if you wanted to like take out some of these, um, it wouldn't really hurt anything. Um, you wouldn't want to go lower than zero on this. And both of these hoppers that are connected to the stuff above would have to have items in them. Um, to get the items out of the buffered area, um, as you see, like if you had a bunch of items in here, say they were full all the way up and around, um, and you decided it was time to pull out some of the items you'd already pulled out, um, say you'd pulled out like all but. Uh, you want to leave at least two in this one if you're doing the buffering thing. Um, but you pulled out all, but let me just show you if you did do this. Um, and you had a bunch of, and the items were stacked all the way in. Um, so, you know, to say uh, the hoppers were all the way stacked all the way around. You could, to get the rest of the items that are out of those back sections, you could hit this switch here and that would allow the items to start filling back up inside these areas um, and of course I'm showing an example so this wouldn't have emptied out usually if that all would have been full back there but turning this on will halt this chest and all the items from the rest of them will get start to get piled up along the front here so this one will fill up um, and you know just simulating it if once this one filled up um, this one would start to fill up again and you would get all the items flowing to the front of your chest. So this would be my recommended answer to what do I do if I want more storage than that, um, is creating this kind of a buffer system where the items just continue to go round and round. Remember, um, just always keep at least one in all these and two in this, and same with this one in all these and two in this, and you shouldn't have any problems with the items going out because they will continue to just run around in a circle, um, and it will just start to fill up but the ones in the front should stay safe um, and full so you can continue to add items to your beginning chest. Um, just remember that when you're done, um, you'll want to turn this back off again so the items can continue to flow around in a, in a circle for your um, auto sorting to continue. Uh, a couple of other ideas that I had that may be an option would be uh, and I really didn't like these as good but they don't continue the stuff to flow you could um, have it going like this and as long as there's a, a solid block above a chest you can't open it and items cannot flow into it so if you knew you weren't going to fill up more than five at a time um, you could manually pull them out or you could throw this lever and let the items dump out but you know, it's probably easier if you're going to do that just to pull the items out and throw them in the chest. So that's probably not the best option. Um, the buffering still, I would say, would be your way to go. Just 
if you did a lot of these, I don't know how much lag you might create. It's just be something to consider. Uh, but that's an option. Um, and you could all you could you could always freeze this if you decided it was too much. Pull out the items in front and then just let uh, some of the items fill up. You still have almost a full ten stacks worth in these. Uh, another one similar to this one would be to create make two hoppers that both point forward and the uh, I broke this over here just in case you're wondering this is supposed to be facing this way to complete the chain anyways not a big deal um, but this would also have the same effect as this it turns off this hopper down here so it can't pull items out um, but once you had this chest full and you weren't currently sorting you could just you know let that go and the items would begin to pull out again and then uh, just to simulate once all of them got pulled into the chest you could turn the light back on or turn the switch back on and refill this chest and get it ready for the next time you sort your items Again, I don't think it's as effective as the buffer, um, but it would empty it into a chest and it wouldn't be continually running. So that's what to consider. And then kind of combining both the buffering system and the on and off system, I put them both together and we've got the buffering system like you saw um, at, the, at the beginning. So these will continue to run in circles. Um, We've got the on-off switch for for freezing it so the items will be pulled. You know, if you had partial stacks, if you freeze this, then it will begin to fill it up again. Um, so we've got the freezing part of it, and we've got the emptying part. So, like I've marked on here, if full, then you want to empty the buffer. So on, it's buffering. Off, it's emptying. Um, so if you had a bunch of items in here, once this fills up, um, and I don't have enough blocks here to, once this fills up though, you will not be able to, here let's grab a few more, um, can't grab it for that one because that's, once you filled it up, um, it would no longer be able to accept future items. So. As this currently system is running, see none of the iron blocks are getting through. Um, if this system was full, um, I'm assuming I filled it all the way up. Yeah, I have. I think I've pretty much. Yeah, if that system was full and you had additional blocks running through, um, they would, of course, end up down here. So. You'll either have to keep track of where your items are, um, keep an extra large buffer, um, or you'll have to empty it out occasionally by throwing this lever. We'll start pulling the items out. And once it goes all the way, it'll empty out this one, then it'll empty out that one. You know, it'll go around, empty out that one, that one, and then once this one starts emptying out, um, you'll know that you've emptied out all the buffer in the background. So, I hope this is helpful. Um, if you had any other questions on how this system might work, please feel free to ask. Um, again, this has been Pursuit, and just a, an early entry level um, system for sorting items or something where you don't have access to uh, comparators or quartz for your sorting system. So thanks for watching and bye for now.